Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are starting on page 169 and we are looking at chapter practice for chapter five. So for this lesson, I'm gonna have you go ahead and pause the video. You are gonna do page 169, 170, <coughs> 171 and 172. Now, some of these problems are difficult. This one right here is difficult. You may need an adult to give you a little bit of help, right? But don't let them help you so much that they give you the answer. Just a little bit of help so you can understand what you're supposed to do. Uh, this page can be pretty difficult as well, trying to figure out these. So do your best, see if you can find the answers. Right, and then when you're ready, come back and we will review together. All right, you may go ahead and pause the video now. All right, so now let's look at these together. Here it says that 14 plus 5 equals what? So let's first figure out what 14 plus 5 equals. Well, what is 4 and 5 make? 4 and 5 make 9. Here's this one, we're just gonna add that on, so 19. Now over here, what do I need to add to 10 to get 19? Yeah, I need to add nine. All right, true or false, right? So let's figure out what this equals. What's eight plus seven? Eight plus seven, right? So let's count up to um, let's count up from 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so that's 15. Now here's a double. and We should start working on trying to make sure we know all of our doubles. 8 and 8 makes 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. Does 15 equal 17? No, that's false. All right, now let's look at this one. 12 plus five, so let's add the two and the five together. What's five plus two? Seven, and the 10 will go on the front, so 17. Let's do it here. Five plus two equals seven, and here we have a 10, and those will be the one on the front. Does 17 equal 17? That is true. All right, so here we're subtracting, right? So here, what is seven minus four? Seven minus four is three, and then that 10 we didn't do anything with, so it stays 13. All right, so here, 15 minus eight, so we can use our fingers to count up. So we'll start at eight and count to 15. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 8 and 7 make 15. Therefore, 15 minus 8 is 7. All right? 9 plus what equals 11? So let's start at 9 and count to 11. 9, 10, 11. Okay, so 2. And here we have something minus 3 equals 17. So we know that this is the whole number, right? So like if we thought about like a number bond, we would say 17 and three make the whole, okay? So let's start at 17 and count up three. 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 is the answer here. All right, so here's our fact family. They just have this boat as bubbles floating around but we can connect it like this, right? Nine and five are the smaller numbers, so those are our parts. 14's the whole. So nine plus five equals the whole, 14. Five plus nine equals the whole, 14. Now remember, when we're subtracting, the whole is going to go to the front. So 14 minus 5, what's missing? The other part is 9. 
here, 14 minus 9. What's the missing part? 5. All right, let's look at page 5. All right, so here we are going to try to find out these missing numbers. So here we have a subtraction problem. 16 minus something is 12. Right? If you ever get confused, just do your number bond. So when we have subtraction, we know the number to the left of the subtraction sign is our whole. So here's 16, 12, and our missing number. Right? So we're thinking, what do I have to add to 12 to make 16? So I can just start at 12 and count up to 16, right? 16 or 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. So four is the answer. All right. Now, here we have triangle. Something plus seven equals 15. So this is the whole. 15 is the whole. Seven is the part. Okay. So here we can count from 7 up to 15 to find the other part. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Your fingers? 8. So that means that 8 plus 7 equals 15. So 8 is the answer there. So that means that this is equal to triangle plus square is, triangle is 8, square is 4. So what does 8 plus 4 equal? So here we go, start at 8, count up 4 more. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? So equals 12. Here it says write an addition fact for, um, to find 13 minus 8, right? So here we would do 13 is our whole. It's to the left of the subtraction sign, and 8 is this number right here, right? So 8 plus what equals 13? Let's start at 8 and count 13. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 8 plus 5, and thus 13 minus 8 equals 5, because this is a fact family, right? 13, oops, 13, and then we had 8, and then our unknown number. So we figured out our unknown number was 5. Right? So 13 minus 8, and the other part is 5. Let's look at page 171. Carrie adds 6 and 7. Now notice how she does this. She uses it to find her double, right? So she knows her doubles. 6 and 6 is 12, right? Plus 1 is 13, right? Now, share your thinking on how Carrie adds 6 and 7. She finds, finds the double and then adds extra. Right? So that's what she did. So here she broke the 7 into a 6 and 1. She knows her doubles. 6 and 6 make 12 plus this extra 1 is 13. Show two other ways to add by making 10. Okay? So let's do 6 plus 7. Right? And 6 plus 7. So one way I could do this is I know that 4 and 6 make 10. So I'm going to divide this into a 4 and a 3 because 
times 4 plus 3 equals 7. That makes what? 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. You could also do it. I know that 7 plus 3 equals 13, or equals 10. So I'm going to break this into a 3. 3 and what makes 6? 3 and 3. This right here makes 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. All of those ways work. Let's look at page 172. So here it tells us that these magic squares, so a magic square has nine different numbers, the numbers of each row, column, and diagonal add up to the same number. So this is going to be the same as this, as this, as this. This is a magic square, right? The missing number, right? So we need to figure out what this missing number is. In order to do that, we need to figure out what this is, or this is, or this is, or this is. How am I going to do that? Well, I know that this is the same as this, right? So let's figure out what this is. 7 plus 2 plus 9 equals, right? So what is 7 plus 2? 7, 8, 9, 7, and not 2 make 9. So what is 9 plus 9? 9 plus 9, that's a double. So hopefully we're working on memorizing that. If you don't, that's okay. Let's start at 9 and count up. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so it becomes 18. All right, now we can do this one, right? We can do two plus not something plus 10 equals 18, because they're always gonna be the same. So two plus, and I no number, plus 10, oops, plus 10 equals 18. Okay, now what does 2 and 10 make? 2 and 10 makes 12. So now I know that these two together equal 12. And that means that 12 and this number have to equal 18. So let's start at 12 and count up to 18. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Ah, 6. And that's true because 2 plus 6 equals 8, and 8 plus 10 equals 18. So that means that this missing number is 6. And we can see that here, right? 4 and 6 make what? They make 10. 10 plus 8 equals 18, right? And that's what we had to get to. So that's how we could find the missing number. Now, the other way we could do this is, um, yeah, that, that would be the best way to do it, right? But we could have gone this way, we could have gone this way, right? Lots of different ways we could have gone. Now on this one, it says, this is a magic square. The numbers each in each row add up to 15. So now they're telling us what the number is write the missing numbers, right? So here, we can't figure out this way because we don't have numbers, but we can go diagonally here. I know that this is gonna be 15, so two plus five plus an unknown number equals 15. Now what's two plus five? Two plus five is seven. Now, 7 plus 1 equals 15. So let's count up, right? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many fingers? 8 fingers. So that means that this number is 8. Now we could go up this way, 
right? Because there's two digits here. So three plus five plus unknown number equals 15, right? What's three plus five? Three plus five is eight. So what's eight plus what equals 15? You might already know this because we actually already did it, but we'll count, okay? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, seven, right? But it's the opposite of the one we just did. So this is a seven. And now that I've done that, now <clears throat> I can go this direction, right? So now two plus seven plus unknown number equals uh, 15, right? What's two and seven make? Two and seven make nine. Now let's count from nine up to 15. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many fingers? Six. This is a six. Okay, we can go this direction right here, right? So that shouldn't be right. Two plus, I wrote that wrong. That was supposed to be what? Two plus five plus eight. I wrote it as a six, but it's supposed to be an eight. Be careful not to make silly mistakes like that. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, but now we can go, what is six plus eight? Plus unknown number equals 15. All right, so six plus eight. Let's start with eight and count up six more. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, we get 14. Now what do I have to add to 14 to get 15? Yeah, just one more, right? So that's gonna be the number one. <clears throat> right, so now I need to get to 15. I think we can do this one in our head, right? Here is a five. Five plus what equals 15? 10. So 1 plus what makes 10? 1 plus 9. Okay, same thing here. We can go diagonal. Right? 5 plus this number. <clears throat> so here's 5. That's going to, and so I need to add, make it add 10. So 6 and what make 10? Six and four make 10. So six plus four equals 10 plus five is 15. And there we found the answers to the magic box. All right, that is all I have for today. I hope you have a terrific day and I look forward to seeing